Good morning, guys. Today's profile pop-up is for Melissa. The theme today is how to be seen, photo settings, headline, and acronyms. Here's what I mean. Right off the bat, one thing I notice is she still has the company name in here. She's got some good stuff starting off on the beginning of the headline, but then she's got the company name. Now, it's not as obvious here, although actually it does spell it out right here, the actual company, so you're repeating what's already coming up on the next line. It's not so obvious maybe on the desktop, but you still do see it there in the upper right corner of what's called the intro card that I talked about yesterday. So up in this area here on the desktop, you would actually see um, Hewlett Packard as well. So that's actually redundant and it's not helping you at all. You've got, you want to take up as much room as you can essentially with the headline, but the caveat there is the very few first few words may be the only thing that people see. So, right off the bat, if all I see, let's say you do a comment, all I may see is right up to this SDFC part. And I don't know necessarily what that means, a hybrid. What does it mean, a hybrid it's IT specialist and SFDC? I think what you mean there is Salesforce. And that is something that you're going to want to spell out. And, and Salesforce happens to be huge. So definitely spell that out and make sure that you're, you're commenting on that. And maybe even keep the acronym if that also means something. But spell out Salesforce, open paren, SFDC, close paren, if that's what that acronym stands for. But get away from acronyms because other people may not know exactly what that is. Even if they may be a recruiter and they know exactly what, what that is, they may be thinking Salesforce. They may have put a search in for Salesforce, not SFDC. So don't make people try to figure that out. And then the IT, again, the IT hybrid, IT specialist, well, what kind of specialist? Help us understand. Take a few words there to help us understand what kind of specialty you have. And then the other thing is, um, you know, we actually chatted offline before this because when we connected, I noticed your, your photo was invisible. So if you're interested in how the trick to make sure that you're not invisible to people, let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to uh, send that to you. Um, also, the other thing that I wanted to point out was just, how, I guess, how, how important it is to uh, make sure that, high, that headline stands out and also the picture. If people get in here from the headline, most likely, obviously a picture is, is most important than the headline. Then they come in here and they look at the background. Whatever that specialty is or Salesforce, whatever it is, maybe get a nice picture of here of something that shows what you're after in the future. That's, that's what I recommend for the background picture rather than just that default. Also, this is pretty overused. Detail-oriented IT professional with a passion for ah, insight and partner sales. Now, instead of telling us that you're detail-oriented and a, have a passion for it, show us that passion. You've got a lot more room here in the summary. So as a little bit of a bonus here, give us more, show us more in that summary to help back up what's in the headline. And in no time, you'll be making headlines and popping. Hope that helped, Melissa. Thanks so much.